It is my distinct privilege and, and pleasure today to uh, welcome two new friends. I just met these guys um, up close and personal a few weeks ago, being a guest on their show, VO Buzz Weekly. And I want to, to welcome you and say hello to Chuck and Stacy. Hey, guys. Hey, Hi, what's Bill. up? How you what's doing, up? Bill? I'm doing good. I'm so excited to talk to you guys. And let's be a little more formal. It is Stacy Aswad and Chuck Duran. So That is correct. And mm-hmm. once there you go. This and, guy is good. He's the real deal. This he's time. the real deal. <laughs> Sharp as a tack, I'll tell you. True story. <laughs> so and, how can we help you today, Bill? Yes. Well, here's how you can help me. First of all, I, I, I've got to say, before we started, Chuck said, now this is an HD, right? Which stands for a hot dude. Absolutely. So, I only appear in HD, especially on YouTube. <laughs> I love it. Well, thanks for taking time on. This is we're recording on a Saturday, so I know you guys got stuff to do. Me, on the other hand, I'm just watching the Masters tournament. So I just hit the DVR. Nice. Nice. You know, Saturday is a chill day for me. But I wanted to introduce you guys and your channel, VO Buzz Weekly, and your, your awesome show to the subscribers hey. of, of, um, of Build the Weeds. Training, Build the Weeds, whatever. See, I, I need a fancy name. I need a logo. Hey, Look at you guys. They're the Deweezers. Yeah, the Deweezers. <laughs> you make me feel so inadequate. I don't even have a sign yet. I, I, I'll, have to, I'll have to work on that. How can you be inadequate if you're the voiceover expert? Well, that's yeah. true. There you go. There Serious. you go. Well, first yeah. of all, let's get to know you guys a little bit better. Now, Stacy, I know you're you're an actress. You're a voice talent. Uh, I know you have amazing credits. Please tell us more. Let us get to know you a little bit better. Well, I uh, my whole first life was as a dancer, choreographer. I went to Juilliard and danced in ballet companies, modern companies, flamenco, did all of that. Oh my! And um, I still do. I still dance, but I, you know, the LA dance scene is very different from kind of my my scene. But I, I'm glad I have it in my in my pocket. And then I went on and did theater and TV and film and commercials and and uh, then I got this really cool gig with Disney as their on camera face and resort TV host and do this, do that. And I get to ride everything. It's awesome in Orlando. That is so exciting. It's so fun. And that's, I'm actually getting ready to celebrate my 10th year of that. Wow. Congrats. Amazing. It was supposed to be for one year. So it's kind of that gift that just keeps on going. And I just go like, you gotta, you gotta love that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that's been a huge, that was kind of a huge catalyst for me to come to Los Angeles. I was living in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina at the time when that was happening. I'm originally from New York, but, um, I moved to LA and I knew I had done a little bit of voiceover, really wanted to do voiceover. And everyone that I talked to said, well, you need a demo and there's only one guy to do the demo, Chuck Duran. So in my Virgo diligence, I, I, researched other people as well, met with other people. But when I met with Chuck, I was like, man, this guy is the real deal. HD, baby. HD. (laughs) (laughs) So the hot uh, dude of VO. He did my very first demo. That's how we actually met. And he was so amazing to me. He gave me my first job before I had an agent and was always such a champion and such a supporter of, of my, my talent and my vision and my goals. And, and we just became amazing friends. Um, we did. And so I kind of, I had my hosting work. I had my TV and film work and, and then I started doing voiceover and I love it. I mean, I got to say, I mean, I work in all different areas, whether it's audiobooks, games, commercials, animation, promo, promo um, announcing. I love it. What and don't I love- you do? I don't do... You know what? I'm the luckiest (laughs) HD dude on the freaking planet because this girl is amazing. Oh, you're amazing. Like, I wish that... Let me brag about her a little bit, okay? Amazing! (laughs) Do go go on. All you need. Yeah, so no, it's been really wonderful. I mean, I've I've worked in the fitness industry. I've worked in I was a I like you. I was a teacher. I was I taught in public schools and and I did a bunch of different things. But always from the heart of of when I since I was little, from my roller skating to my dancing, I've always been a performer. It's something that chose me. I don't have a choice. Did you mention yeah. you were a Juilliard graduate? I did. Okay, good. Just Thank in case. You, my manager. Um, Just here's a footnote. <laughs> yeah, a little thing I did. Twice, you know. Um, so it's something, but I love the challenge of the different kinds of performing, and especially within voiceover, I love that you can't fake it. Yeah. You're either doing it or you're not. I love that not all of my career is about how I look or how I'm aging, or you know, I love that I can be a ten-year-old boy or I can be a fifteen-year-old girl or I yeah. can be a squirrel. I love that I have 
those options that are just really about your creativity and your storytelling mm -hmm. and your talent. So I like doing both. Yeah. Um, but when we, I loved creating the show that we created, Vio Buzz Weekly, because it's it's a great way to to kind of take all of my skills and put them together with all of Chuck's skills and highlight people like yourself and people in the business that are moving and shaking. But bigger than that, I love that we're talking to people who have created a path for success. And that is a universal human story. Yep. How, how people overcame obstacles, rejection, that concept of persistence and resilience. I love that. So I, I am so honored to be able to sit with people and really hear their stories of how they just said, I'm not giving up. Yeah. I'm not yeah. giving up. And I love that we can bring that. And we have this wonderful internet and YouTube that we can bring it to people for free and that it's always something that's constantly growing and changing and absolutely so a good a good friend of mine um uh said to me once if you we were talking about business and he goes if you want to be a millionaire find somebody who is a millionaire mm -hmm. doing what you want to be doing and follow their path yeah. and you will then have what they have mm -hmm. um so when doing VO Buzz Weekly, that's exactly what we wanted to do. It's like, listen, there's so many people wanting to be successful in voiceover all over the world that can't come to LA or you know travel to other places where it's really, really happening, but they're doing it wherever they are. They could be in Africa, they can be in Japan, they can be all over the world. And so we're bringing the people that have created that path of success to everybody in the world so that they can follow these things. And like what you teach too, when yeah. people come to you, man, say, man, if you do this, over and over and over again, you will have this. Right. It's predictable. And even if you're not in voiceover, there's just concepts that are universal to any kind of industry. And you know from being a teacher, I mean, in all your list of awesome credits, that everything that you're doing feeds into something else and things that you learn from business and things right. you learn from being a professor, all those things feed your voiceover career. And just like people that are talking about voiceover, if I'm a teacher somewhere or I'm an accountant somewhere, I can take your story and some of the things yeah. that you've learned in those tools and apply them to myself. And so I just like how as different as we all are, we have so many similarities and I really like celebrating how we are all very much united, even yeah. though we're not right. all doing the same thing in the same place. And you've created such a great platform to do that. But and before we get to that, uh, Chuck? Yeah. Yes, or unless Stacy, unless you would like to tell us about Chuck. Maybe that's the way we should do it. She is so much better at talking about me than I am. <laughs> I love talking about Chuck. No, I, mean, I you know you're a musician. I know you're a producer. Yeah. I'll fill I, I, I am. Blanks. Since the age of 13, I've been playing, you know, rock and roll. I'm a guitar player, uh, an accomplished one at that. Um, I mean, it's it, it's what I've done professionally for many, many years. Uh, if somebody's out there and doesn't know the band that I'm in, it's called Rock Sugar. You're already on YouTube. Yes. So after you watch I've checked it, out your videos. Right, right. right. Go check fun? out Rock Sugar and your head will explode. <laughs> We've literally opened up for bands like ACDC, Aerosmith, Death Leopard, uh, uh, not Backstreet Boys. Uh, <laughs> all these huge, huge, huge Blended. bands. And, uh, and so we have a ton of fun. But also for the past 25 years, I've been producing and directing uh, – Voice, or I've done commercials, I've done promos, I've done you know gazillions of commercial campaigns, and I've been producing demos as well for 25 years. I know the industry, I know the agents. I have mm -hmm. a really, really, really good relationship with agents all across the United States. So a lot of people come to me not just for demos, but to get them to that point where they have like you know great, great representation, right. and then how to take right. their system to the next level. So um, that's about all I can say about myself. You guys are between you, the two of you. It's like uh, I can see, I can see why you guys work together. You like you cover all the bases. Yeah, it's great. We're I like the target of voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up an aisle fee, five, please. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. No, I was just going to say, and, and, you know, when we started doing VO Buzz Weekly, I remember people saying, man, why don't, because, you know, we are, we do have a YouTube channel, um, but we also have a website, you know, with ad and advertisement and blah, blah, and all that stuff. And people would always say, why aren't you guys charging for, to, you know, for, to subscribers to have people watch the show? And we're like, well, because that's not why we made the show. We didn't make the show to make money. We made a show to give to the community. Yeah. 
you know, if we're going to make money, we're going to make it somewhere else, you know? Yeah. Um, and we didn't want to make money off of people's dreams. So we're giving absolutely, them man. So, the tools and the resources guys. they need. Yeah. So absolutely. there's no excuses. You can't say, well, I don't have access. We are giving you the best of the best, telling you, I mean, we're, you know, just, I mean, your episodes, I mean, Mark Cashman, I mean, we, when we have teachers on, they're giving away thousands of dollars worth of information yeah. that is timeless. It's not, oh, this is so two months ago. It's timeless information. You're getting to hear from agents, casting directors, writers, producers that are telling you this is what's working and this is what's not working. So you have, we're kind of giving people this wonderful ongoing masterclass that there's no excuses for at yeah. least giving it a try. Yeah. Listen, you never know. You know, you leap and that will appear. But something will happen, whether you file or fly, you're going to learn something on the way up or down. And so yeah. that for me is... Just yesterday, somebody asked me, sent me an email and said, Chuck, I'm try I want to take my business to the next level. And I really want to start personally contacting you know, companies and blah, blah, and really promoting myself and my services directly to companies. How, how do I go about to do that? And I said... Have you watched the Bill DeWeese yes! episode that we just did? And she said, no, I did not. And I go, well, you need to go to YouTube or our website right now and check it out. And she's like, I'm doing it right now. And I go, and after that, give Bill a freaking call or shoot him an email and he can help you with that because that's what he does. And she was like, oh, my. She was so excited, man. But that's the whole thing. It's like. It's the answers are right there. They're well, all there, man. And you guys talk to everybody. The thing I love about your show is that you you have such great representation, whether it's you know agencies and teachers and coaches, actors, but and actors from all aspects, whether it's animation or promo or commercial. Tell me what's some of the most what's the most interesting advice that you've heard? If, like one thing you, that you you never saw coming, but you thought, oh, that's interesting. But maybe it actually makes. Can you think of something that that stood out as like, oh, I never thought of that one before. Um, yeah, I remember asking somebody who's really, really super successful in the business. I'm going to leave names out. Because I'm, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to make anybody look good or bad. No. Uh, uh, but we asked them. So, what advice would you give somebody who wanted to break into the business today? And they go, uh, Don't. <laughs> And We've had a couple of people say either just that blatant or, you know, if there's other things that can make you happy, do those because it's really tough. Yeah, so, and then we kind of draw it out of them yeah. and say, no, 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 no. Seriously speaking, okay, if you're a good friend, somebody that you cared about. <laughs> you really lose the purpose of the channel, the show, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. That was but, a short show, by the way. No. That, yeah, <laughs> it only lasted three seconds and then we were on to the next. Um, no, but the bottom line is everybody has – great advice, man. No matter, you know, obviously when you started in the business 20 years ago, it was a completely different business. It might, it might have been a lot easier to get into certain things. And, and today, you know, there's so many different avenues and so many different doors that you can yeah. knock on. People are like, well, they don't do anything because they don't know which one to do. So, so I, I mean, our show is unscripted. You know, we, we have kind of an outline of maybe where we want to, the topics we want to talk about, but then it, it always kind of goes into other things and people go, oh, that reminds me. And they'll tell a story they haven't thought about in 20 years or yeah, like they'll you have a, yeah, they'll have a recollection of like, oh my gosh, that reminds me, which I love. But what, what's cool is that, you know, we're not about dream killing or you know we really yeah. want to give people empowerment and inspiration but the bottom line is we tell the truth and our guests yeah. tell the truth and it is not an easy business it is not just oh yeah if you show up and have a nice voice you're going to be a millionaire in six weeks it's not that and you know from being a presenter that you have to tell people the truth and what they do with that information is is on them and I always kind of say to people if if one person saying this is tough you know you might want to think twice if that knocks you off your dream horse then that's not the, the the information giver's fault. It's no one's fault. It just means that, that maybe it's not as, as much of a passion as right. you think it is. That yes. if right. you are relentless, people like Scott Rummel who were told, you really don't have it. You should probably give up. He said, that's your opinion. And I always say, you know, as the, the saying goes, your opinion of me is none of my business. It's like I have a vision. Mm. And if that's what I want to do, then nobody, I always say, until I am not breathing anymore, nothing is impossible. And, <laughs> and I can be free. But I, I think that, you know, you have no, there's nothing to lose from trying. And I think the regret of always wondering, could I have yeah. done that? Yeah. Would I have made something of myself in that industry or would yeah. it have worked out? I think that regret is something that's much more toxic and much more painful than actually trying and maybe going, you know, 
that's not my thing. Or, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. look what I discovered. And, and it becomes this incredible thing. Uh, yeah, so that's why we try yeah. to represent people from from the industry 30 years ago, 20 years ago, five years ago, six months ago. Because if you're starting out right now, it is a very different thing. You have to be digitally inclined. You need to be on social media. You need to have a website. And, and for people that are 20, 30 years in the business, that wasn't the case. So we like to try to represent for people that are in the here and now, someone they can relate to that's, that's really starting out now or is like yourself, eight, nine, 10 years into the business, that it's different. I mean, even when you started, it's different than someone who's starting out right now. And Chuck gets those people all the time yep. when he's talking to do a demo and then he sits down to do the marketing plan. You, what you need to know and the, and the skills you need to have and the business sense you need to have now is very different. So we try to keep on the trends and try to keep in the trenches of what is really relative, relevant information that someone's going to have to yeah. have. Nothing if not relevant, that's for sure. I mean, in all honesty. It's, it's, and have to keep evolving. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I've got to share. I don't think I shared this with you when I was out with you guys, but Stacy, when well, you said I, you, Bill, I, so many. It reminds me of a story. <laughs> Stacy, I well, didn't you just say uh, your what, your opinion of me is none of my business? Yes, I love that. I remember my very first job out of college. It was a radio station and I was high. I was like 21 years old and I will never forget this. Within a few weeks of being hired, the program director said, I don't know what I was thinking when I hired you. I just, oh. He didn't like the way I talked. He thought I talked funny. He thought I had a speech problem, I guess. And I came that close to, to packing it in. I came that close. I mean, it weighed on me heavy for a long time. And I have no idea what pathway I would have taken, but I yeah. didn't. You know, I, it was my point being, yes, yeah, somebody else's opinion really doesn't amount to a whole lot. Yeah. It's what you're willing to, you know, to do with it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So a guy from Ohio who talks funny, if he can do this, no. But you've got good but, hair. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, know, you got to have something. Everybody, everybody's got to have something. Too bad you can't see the hair through the mic, but you can feel the hair. <laughs> you can look at it that. It looks good, dude. That so is a full thick, head of hair. My, my daughter's a hairstylist, as well as my full-time assistant, and she tells me, and I, I, I think she's lying to me, but I'll show you guys. She says I'm turning gray in the back. Am I? No. A little bit. Yeah, no. but oh, come on. Man. Shows no. character and wisdom. Yeah, man, it matches the uh, color of your mic there. Because I brown the block and I have a t-shirt. As, as long as I as can't long... see it, it's all good. And right yeah, now, but just keep it match, back there. Man. You match the charcoal in the back, you know, <laughs> and the microphone, a little silver and gray but there. Bill, you have hair to turn gray. Aha! Uh -huh. so, Thank you that's very important. much. And that's there you How go. How you frame it, man? That's it's it. Absolutely, man. Chuck and Stacy, you guys are the real deal. And I just wanted, I want everybody who watches this to go, if you haven't yet, make sure you go check out and subscribe to VO Buzz Weekly because it's just Thanks. rich. I mean, rich with great information. And you guys are the real deal. Not only are you a lot of fun, but I mean, you really do care. And for me, that's what counts more than anything else. When you, when people who really care about helping other people and you guys yeah. are all about that. And in the midst of all the fun, that's what you guys are about. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thanks for all you do. And I love your stuff. And, you know, if you're uh, watching this and haven't subscribed to the voiceover expert, hello. Yeah, hello. Well, first of all, <laughs> you have it. to and be watching this, don't I you? <laughs> if you're not, we're going to punch it you out. It will keep you from going gray at an early age. Exactly. Yes. And if you can see Bill in live in person I doing know. this thing, get, go oh. to one of the yeah. workshops. They're awesome. Dude, you thank guys. you for taking the time from, uh, go, from mowing your lawn to talk to us on a Saturday. <laughs> I came in like, oh. 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 No, oh. even worse. Oh. You guys are killing me. Hey, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks so much. Bye, Thanks, Bill. Bill. See Bye. you, buddy. Take care.